it continues to absorb, but it's the but the absorption. I don't I don't know what the science is, but I'm saying is like the extra the extra nutrients. I'm not a fucking scientist. I'm just telling you what it, you have a highlighted <laughs> section. You have like, an entire okay, highlighted okay. document because because I typed up a couple of words in a word document and then I highlight the words in yellow. He thinks I have some kind of fucking expert. I'm not an expert. Your entire document is highlighted. <laughs> it must be. I figured it you must knew be, what the fuck you were must, talking about. What the fuck, dude? Imagine if that was like a. If Imagine if that was a predictor of intelligence. Everybody would just be highlighting everything. Like, <laughs> look, I have to I'm highlight. All this shit's fucking, fucking highlighted. Thing. It's fucking true. Oh, like, yeah. it's so, <laughs> so smart. <laughs>
out of God all the plants. God damn, ten yeah, times? Ten times. So think about all the plants in the Amazon rainforest and all the grass and all these plants all over the place, all everything. There's <laughs> ten times more fung- fungi on the planet than there are plants. But you can't, you can't see them because they're all underground. Um, oh, they're underground. Yeah. What the fuck? And fungi usually feed on dead stuff. And, uh, yeah, they provide... So they don't look like mushrooms in the underground. They just look like... They're like... It's like a, it's like an internet... Like a wire, like a brain, like a big mushroom brain. Under what the, the fuck? Which is like, which it's is just like, a layer of, like, brain mushroom tissue under yeah. everything. It's just like just like strands of mycelium. It's like, like, like cords of mycelium, just like webs of mycelium. Is there a la- So you're saying there's a layer of mushroom everywhere, or just there's, like, in pockets? Most, in most, in most, like in most like, places under so- where there's soil. It's not like a whole there's ass mycelium. fucking membrane. Around the the globe, the, no, 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 the no, globe, no, no, and then we have no, the no, 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 no. It's just the, like a lot of uh, most of the soil that that's on the planet has some kind of mycelial, some kind of mycelium underneath it. Hmm. That's it's like that you can't see, but it's there. It's eating all the dead shit. Eating all the dead shit. Yeah. So Bro. here's the thing: mycelium kind of works like our brain. So it's like it sends it like it can sense information if it's if it's connected to the same mycelial network. If something happens at one end, it, it can send that information to the other end. How uh, fast, like? Like a, like, like a like a like like our brain like a like a, a uh, synapse like a you know I you know I don't know I don't know current. how I don't know how fast that is but I know that they can adapt quickly so like if they have information yeah I mean quickly is in the sense of like over the course of a month or two they can they can oh, develop okay. so I'm not saying I'm not I'm not sure about information that they can be transferred or, or nutrients that's not even information it's just it's nutrients. dial up it's yeah. internet but it's dial up yeah it's a little bit slow I don't know I don't know the speed I don't really know how fast it, they, they can communicate but they can communicate through the entire network and they connect plants and trees and things like that so like the trees can talk to each other like if the what tree the is fuck? yeah if the tree is sick it can ask for nutrients because the what the, do you mean ask for nutrients so it's 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 like okay so it's not asking for nutrients you're right it's not asking for nutrients what is this? but it comes but, but, but it's all but it's all connected but in a sense in a, in a sense no, yeah. in a sense it is because the the trees whenever they whenever they all the excess nutrients from the trees get get cuz the mycelium is connected to the roots of the tree Okay. Because the mycelium, the the the, the tree provides. Is it a we're gonna head. Like, I don't have. I need to get to the fucking part here. I had everything here mapped out so we can get. To map it out. Map it out. Map yeah. It out. So it's not conducive to a conversation, but fucking yeah. whatever. I should have just had everything just like in, I guess, flashcards or something. But because um, I, I don't want to say the wrong goddamn thing, you know. Whatever. But um, it's not whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. The, 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 at least fucking. At least I'm not saying I'm not saying it has to be perfect, but like Yale. Provide f- actual, like fact, like factually accurate information. Like just at least that. Like, are you not? At least, inter- or at least try. Are you, you know? not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you entertained? I don't know. I, don't I, I mean, that's not the goal what of the day, I guess. Dude, dude, there's, there's, a, there, they can fucking. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What? You, what? <laughs> not, nothing. Are you lost me completely? But anyway, <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to what you're saying. I know. Okay. <laughs> One of the cool things you can do is if there's like a predator to the mycelium, like if there's a, if there are larvae eating the, the mycelium, the, it can create an enzyme that it can release. That when the when the when the larva eats that, it stops its like it stops its growth, so it doesn't it doesn't develop into an adult. Like oh it, my god! It just what? it just essentially kills puberty it. Puberty blockers. Yes, it, it puberty it, blocks yeah, the fucking and, larva. And, yeah. Oh no! So it doesn't grow. The larva doesn't get Isn't a gender. Isn't that insane? Uh, also. Uh, there's a lot of things. Uh, the 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 greatest the, the kingdom with the greatest amount of similarities between for 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 animals. Mm. The, the closest kingdom to our to, to our ancestry is the fungal is is fungus. So we we evolved from fungus. We have a common ancestry. We have a common ancestry. Closer than monkeys? No, monkeys are animals. I'm saying animals. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Animals and like the fun the fungi the fungus. <laughs> Kingdom, the fungi kingdom, and the and the anim- animalia. I don't know what I didn't think of biology in a long time, but the animal <laughs> kingdom and the fungus kingdom it's like Narnia are have a, have a common ancestor. So we so we all we all came from the from the same ancestor. Then the fungus went this way. We went the, the animals went this way. Mm. So we're fungus. We're, we're we come from fungus. We're fungus people. Mm. Um, really, a combination of monkeys and fungus. Yeah. So in the in the in the sense that the mycelium can can like adapt quickly and and create um, you know these deterrents for 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 uh, predators and things like that they they also uh, have they create molecules and enzymes to defend against pathogens which are like viruses and bacteria and a lot of the same viruses and bacteria that that kill mushrooms or, or, or cause illness to mushrooms cause illness to us oh so yeah oh, wait, oh, so 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 we, we're basically just 
Well, what it sounds like to me is well, some monkeys ate ate mushrooms, and the mushrooms said, "All right, now I control you, bitch." And like, and then and <laughs> no, it, it no. spread its genetics, and now no, everything no. that hurts the mushrooms hurts no. us. And it's like, no. yeah, but you don't know that. No, I do know that because because the way the, I, I see we a, have I, parasites. I, no, no. Everyone's a fucking I see, parasite. I, here's what I, I see. Fuck. I see this. We're we're one we're one highly evolved version of the mushroom, and then the mushrooms are another highly evolved version of the mushroom. Like we're both fungal creatures. Oh yeah, so we're like alpha. We're yeah, alpha mushrooms. The, alpha. Who, we who alpha, knows? Bro. We think we think we're alpha, but the, maybe the mushrooms are actually controlling. Yeah, the mushrooms are like, yo, you kill all this shit, and you're like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we're just and chilling like, down here, nothing's yeah. killing us. All y'all have died. That's it, and then they're they're providing the, the foundation of the, the of the. Uh, of the ecosystem, and we think that we're in control, but they're providing everything to feed themselves, to to, mm. to further proliferate the 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 environment okay. that they're setting the, the 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 foundation for. So, in like as I was saying, when they when they uh, create these 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 enzymes and molecules to to, to cure pathogens or to to, to stop the, the spread of pathogens, we found molecules that that help in finding HPV and pox in these mycelial networks. So we that's where we got these. These mm. molecules that, that help fight these diseases. In addition, the most famous uh, like antibiotic that came from from a fungus is penicillin, which was like instrumental in World War II. Like it mm. helped the Allied forces like actually win against the Axis forces because our, our soldiers would be able to recover quickly mm. and get back into the battlefield or not. It depends on how severe it was. But, but we saved we saved the lives of like. A, a massive, Some massive amount of Some oh, big, um, big number. Some big number. Yeah, I don't fucking know the number. You didn't write the number. I, I, don't, I don't really care. <laughs> the main point is we... we it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of things. A lot of people. That sounds great. So yeah. it came from mycelium or, or, or some mushroom? It came from a fungus. Oh, okay. From a fungus. Not from the mycelium, but from okay. a fungus. All right. Oh, so, so yeah, they live. This, so this is overall mushrooms. This isn't overall this isn't the magic mushroom. No, no, we have, we'll get there. We're, we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we've not gone to the magic mushroom. It's 80% yet. magic mushroom. Yeah. When we so. get to the cool part, we'll let you know. Yeah. You the cool skip, ahead, <laughs> skip ahead. Third, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a there's this thing called these things called hub trees that you know. Okay, the mycelium connect the roots of these hub trees to the to the roots of the trees in, in its in its area. So the hub tree is the big mama tree. Like it's the big tree. <laughs> big mama tree. The big mama tree that like it's a mushroom it tree. Feeds, it feeds. It feeds. It's I, the guess, brood I guess it's a. I guess it's a mushroom tree. Wait 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 wait. It's bigger than the rest of the trees. Yes, it's the biggest tree, and it's in the center. It's like it's it's oh it's a oh, hub oh it's tree. a tree. It's it's, a, it's, it's an it's actual not a tree. It's, it's a not a mushroom. Tree. It's a tree. I just said tree. The okay, hub okay, tree. Okay, but you're a tree. Like, I'm thinking a of mushroom. No no no. A mushroom looking. Not a mushroom tree. It's an actual tree. Like a like. Like a like tree a, made of wood. Like so not grow. like Don't Star where like they have the giant mushrooms and you chop them down and no. you get mushrooms and wood. But I'm I'm willing to bet that there's at least a, a, like several, uh, you know, several planets in our in the galaxy or in the universe that have these mm. giant fungal forests and things like that. Ah. Um, so this big mushy mama tree. There's there's more there's more fung there's probably fungal creatures living in the universe at large like all over the place. They're, it's like the most common. I think it's, it may be one of the most yeah most, mushrooms common, mushrooms most, most adaptable yeah most adaptable most common most most prolific uh, kind of organism, um, but yeah so the, these hub trees there's a one big there's one big main tree that then supports a little smaller and smaller trees in the area. What does that do? Is that, are the mushrooms infecting this tree? Or are no, they, no, are no. They the, symbiotic with this they're, tree. They're symbiotic with the trees. Okay, some mushrooms kill trees. Most of these mushrooms I'm talking about here are they're symbiotic. They're they're living like gut biome for the tree. Like it's like it's. Helps uh, digestion? No, no. It connects the roots of the big tree to the roots of the little tree. So the what brain. that does is the roots of the big tree go deep, deep into the soil, which gives it access to the most nutrients and most most water, most most just nutri- nutrition for the for the tree. Uh. And once that tree gets all the nutrients it needs, it stores the rest of the nutrients in the mycelium. And oh. then the, then wait, wait, and what? then y- yeah. And then and then the it pushes <laughs> nutrients from its roots. It doesn't roots. push. It doesn't push. It just how does it store it? It just it. It just keeps absorbing, and then once it's filled up, it continues to absorb. But it's the but the absorption. I don't I don't know what the science is, but I'm saying is like the extra the extra nutrients. I'm not a fucking scientist. I'm just telling you what it, you have a highlighted <laughs> section. Because, you have an entire okay, highlighted okay. document because because I typed up a couple of words on a word document, and then I highlight the words in yellow. He thinks I have some kind of fucking expert. I'm not an expert. Your entire document is highlighted. <laughs> it must be. I'm thinking it you must knew be, what the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> 
fuck, dude? Imagine if that was like a imagine if that was a predictor of intelligence. Everybody would just be highlighting everything. Like, look, I have to <laughs> highlight. Holy shit, fucking, fucking highlight. It's fucking true. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> But yeah, so all the nutrients, just, just, I, if, okay, you my, my, my bad. if you don't, it stores the nutrients in the mycelium. Yeah, just believe it, okay? Yeah. Just believe it because I'm saying it. Okay. No, no, we'll put, we'll put sources in there. If you want to watch, if you look at the, look at the sources, the, you know what? The main source of this, in this entire document is fucking Paul Stamets. He's like a well-known industry leading mycologist in the field. He's, he's, fu- mushroom, he's fucking mushroom Jesus, okay? This guy knows what he's <laughs> talking about. This is where I'm getting this information, Okay. Um, the nutrients are stored in the in the, in the mycelium, and then they, they can then be transferred to the to the trees that need the nutrients the most. So the the trees that are that are that are ill or 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 baby saplings that are at the at, like at the bottom at the on the in the understory where there's not light where light doesn't get to them they're able to get nutrients from from this mycelium where they would they can't get it from light because they usually mm. get it from light but they can't get the light so they get it from the mycelium. That's crazy. Yeah. So um, mycelium is an, acts as a barrier between the big tree and the uh, yeah. other trees. Exactly. In that and then in return, the fungus gets carbon, carbohydrates, and other nutrients from the tree that it needs. Mm. Oh, man. That is wild as yeah. fuck. I bet y'all didn't know that shit. It's interesting, yes. The whole yeah. forest is connected. Pocahontas is real. They're all talking Avatar is real. Yeah. It, that's actually news to that, you. Yeah, that's what it's actually fuck? what that's like. Yeah, it's it's, it's like it's, like it's av- real. It's like Avatar. Like everything is connected. It's like oh, haha, yeah, connected. everything is connected. The circle of life. <laughs> no fucking for real. Like it's connected. Yeah, it is. It's actually it's, it's actually connected. The big tree sucks up the sunlight and then goes. Oh, you know, they deposited in this bank account. Yeah, this bank account. Yeah. You look important. That bank account. Yeah. Everyone gets fed. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's, that's right. That's fucking crazy. That's right. That's right. That's interesting stuff. It's like a brain, though. It's the earth brain. It's a, that's literally what or the, the earth. What, lung, the trees are the lungs. Yeah, they're the lungs of the earth. But I mean, the cool thing is, in addition, in addition to all this stuff that's that we're similar to, like the animal cell, like the cells that 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 build up our that make the make up our bodies, our meat puppets. is is very similar to the fungus cell. And then, in addition to that, in addition to that, um, we inhale oxygen, exhale carbon dioxide. So do the fungus. So we're very oh. similar to fungus, like. There's a lot of commonality between us and fungus. And when we get to psilocybin... Mushrooms eat dead shit. We, we eat, eat dead, dead shit. shit. Wow. Oh my god. Dude, it's we, don't all poop. we don't eat sense. poop, though. It's all I'm We don't eat poop. <laughs> I don't know if they eat... Maybe they do eat poop. Mushrooms grow on poop. They grow on poop, yeah. What are you... Are they yeah. eating air? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. That goes to show I don't know what I'm talking about. This is Clearly. just information. This is just information that I'm regurgitating. I, what I did is I just gathered all the cool You were very concerned about being factual and punctual and... Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give factual information. <laughs> Doesn't mean I know the 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 inner workings of all that shit. Like I like I said in previous episodes, I know like like twenty percent of what I'm talking that's about, generous. and that's like twenty <laughs> percent. That's that's a good amount. Eleven, eleven. Okay, 11 no, there 11 you go. Percent. That's 11 a healthier thank you. <laughs> Let's it but it's with. enough to uh, it's yeah. enough to to you know research. Here's but, a nugget but, if you like here's, that. Here's, look but here, up. here, like. I'm I'm still saying things that are factual. I just don't know. I just don't dig deep enough to go into like all the intricate n- workings of all that yeah, shit. You're not, unless, the fun, you're not that fucking unless, weirdo with the mushroom hat. Either. Yeah, exactly. Well, unless, unless I'm really interested. Which in thank it. God for him. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, not everyone's gonna have be the weirdo with the mushroom hat. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that that actually that mushroom is actually a really useful mushroom in in the evolution of man. Like, so this mushroom they use to like carry embers of fire through winter so they would hollow out the mushroom that he made that had that had out of and they would they would keep an ember of fire th- so they can carry it through the to the winter so that it wouldn't go out and they would just That's like fucking yeah. crazy. i don't know you could just carry embers yeah so that you know if that ember went out they their entire you know herd not they herd what is it the tribe their whole tribe would die yeah, yeah. um and they can also use that mycelium that 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 mushroom and mix it with lye water which is ash and water uh, and then it's like uh, it's like an alkaline thing, and then it breaks down the mushroom, and then you can make the mushroom into a fabric, and then that fabric is flammable. So oh, you can then use it to light it. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. 
Yo, how do you how do the fucking things discover this? Dude, shit? I don't fucking know. My God, they did. They discovered. They by, didn't have they, recipes like they discovered. I'll tell you how they discovered it by eating magic mushrooms. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like let me show you the way, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like this. <laughs> you <laughs> you burn this shit and you rub a little water in there and you take that mushroom, you pour the <laughs> water in the water. mushroom, and it gets all mushy. You go like this, <laughs> and you let it dry, yeah. <laughs> and then you burn that. <laughs> Oh, so, as I was saying before, the uh, these mycelial networks, the the biggest one in history. Like this is the biggest organism recorded in on the planet mm-hmm. is a mycelial network, and it's in fucking Oregon, and it's oh. six hundred and sixty five football football field size. Jesus. Like it's fucking massive, <laughs> massive. I don't know. If the, I I don't even. I I don't know how big that yeah. is. I think that. I, I don't know. It's fucking what large. The fuck? Okay, so now six hundred football fields. Six hundred sixty five. Almost seven hundred. Yeah, not it's kind of six yeah, and a half. More than halfway, bro. Six hundred and a half. Six more than halfway is almost. <laughs> We're almost there. You're, right. You're technically right. Yeah. <laughs> got, I got so less ridiculous. than forty percent left. That's ridiculous. Come on. Okay, like we're we're gonna get, we're gonna get into the psilocybin now. So we're we're gonna get into the mm. stoned ape theory, which according to Paul Stamets is a, is a stoned ape hypothesis because it's not fully proven. So technically, a hypothesis is an educated guess, and a theory is a hypothesis that has been proven with facts, proven to be true with facts. This can't be proven. This 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 stoned ape theory can't be proven because we don't we don't we don't have the means to to gather the information necessary to not prove yet. this happened. Not yet. So thirty eight. Talk thirty eight. When I say 38, 23, 23 primates, including humans, eat mushrooms. So our ancestors, when they were hunting, they would usually look for footprints and poop. And when they looked for footprints and poop, the, the thing that they would find the most was psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, so I don't know what the, what the strand, what, what, the, what the species of it was, but a psilocybin mushroom. They would find magic mushrooms growing out of these piles of shit. Uh, and then sometimes they wouldn't eat for days because they were hunting. And then these mushrooms are large and fleshy and they're edible so they would eat these mushrooms when they were hungry and when they did that they would go on a massive fucking psycho psychedelic journey okay you, okay so do you think this has also to do i guess we'll, once we get into it more but remind me to ask you about does it have like them being on an empty stomach like in a fasting state and then probably their balls up probably has more intense yeah yeah okay for sure um like yeah, your and, hungry and, fucks are tripping balls. And the, like, the theory here, it's what? Day. what is it? It's gonna be a crazy day. Oh, of course. Imagine you're tripping you're, and, and you're hungry as and fuck. A fucking, and starving. And a fucking saber tooth tiger comes up and like oh, starts yeah. like, what the starts fuck are you gonna do? Tribe, you're like, <laughs> what are you gonna? Ah, oh, fuck! I hate mushrooms. You, got, you guys take care of this. Show. <laughs> Go fucking sit under this tree. Yeah. <laughs> Try and run oh, like you're just like yeah, running in circles. Fuck! 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 Oh, good luck. Not dude. good. Not not good. Not good. Man, I'm glad um, we live in 2022. You know. Yeah, we don't have to deal with all that. Fucking shit. Saber I can sit. I can sit in, in in a fucking air conditioned space on a bed, and not have to worry about anything. This is. And we can know, eat mushrooms. We should and eat mushrooms. And we eat should. Mushrooms. We should be grateful for eat mushrooms on a full oh, stomach, okay. which actually is kind of makes you nauseous, but it's fine. Does it? I never. I've never. I would never, know. I would never like, know. I've only eaten like maybe one or two grams of mushrooms over overall. But I've, but the thing I've done the most is microdose on psilocybin. Oh yeah, you've been using microdose like, for a while, dude. It's so good. It's it, it has better neurogenetic, like uh, ne- neurogenetic effects than uh, than just tripping on mushrooms alone. So if you trip on mushrooms, you get less of the, the neurogenesis than than you would if you microdose because you're microdosing mm. constantly. You're constantly putting these little bits of the the mushroom in your system, mm. so you get more and more. You get a, you get a greater amount of the neurogenesis, neurogenetic effects, which is causing you to create neurogenesis is like the creation of new brain cells and new brain, uh, new new pathways within the brain. Uh, so, uh, what's the wildest thing that you heard in the research of, of doing like microdosing? Like, what's the crazy like cured cancer? Like, uh, like it can it can thing? it can help in 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 curing tinnitus. Mm. Uh, which is the main oh that the little the earring ringing, the ringing in your ear yeah, it can yeah help, I have, it some, can I have that sometimes yeah it can help cure that uh, it just it, it's just neurogenetic effects increasing brain function incre- increasing focus increasing clarity like it just makes you smarter it just it just does it just it gives you it gives you it gives you greater access to to more of to more more and more access to to the to the to the sections of your brain it just it, just, it it's you know just, how it does that by um, it it just it creates so I don't know the technical terms, but 
we we're there, there we have uh, these neurons in our brains, and they're like they're like little trees, little trees with trunks and branches. What these things, what the what the what the psilocybin does is it creates more it creates more leaves. So if a neuron mm-hmm. doesn't have any leaves, it'll put leaves on there. Like our our, our brain cells leaves. It creates, it creates more leaves, synapses. More, more li- exactly. Yes. Mm. Exactly. So it cre- the leaves are what what connect are, are are what connect to create the synapses. So the more leaves are, the more synapses, the more pathways, the more different pathways, and the more everything connects. Mm. So the it makes it, easy, it, makes it easier for your brain to communicate to other parts of your brain. Yes. It's like, yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that's in layman's terms what it does. It creates more brain leaves. <laughs> more brain leaves, bro. <laughs> more brain leaves. Um, you get specifically so, scientific. Yeah. And the, the, the cool thing is <clears throat> psilocybin is, I think it's called an adaptogen. It's something, it's, it's, it's a neuro, it's a, uh, what the fuck is the term? What is <laughs> the term? A, uh, <laughs> What's the term for the thing? <laughs> is it a, neuro, a neurochemical? <laughs> Why don't I fucking know? I don't know. I forget, I forget the name. It's a, <laughs> what, 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 what are, what are, what is, what are dopamine, uh, serotonin? It's a neurochemical. Is this a neurochemical? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever that, whatever that term is. Is uh, it a neurochemical? What is, what do you, what I don't know. This is a specific freaking... I don't know. Uh, it's, not, it? it's not neurochemical. It's something else. Oh. Um, but it's... You know what it is. Like, and I'll figure it out after this fucking <laughs> shit's done being recorded. But anyways... I'm pretty fucking sure um, it's a neurochemical. Psil- I guess it's like- psil- Psilocybin <laughs> is very similar to, um, to serotonin. And it's actually more efficient than serotonin. Mm. Um, so I think that's really interesting. Like, why is it that these mushrooms have a molecule or have a whatever that fucking word is? The 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 the, the, the neuro whatever. Neurochemical. <laughs> why can't you just say it? it, it you know what? It, it is that is word. a correct term. It's like it's not an incorrect term. It is a neurochemical. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's, it's just gonna say it's not. This is a neurochemical. <laughs> like, is that, what does that say? <laughs> Literally, the first word in Google is neurochemical. <laughs> Literally, the first word. Is it that there's another is fucking it, word? For is it? Is it? Is it only the first thing that came up when you searched <laughs> it? Is it? Is it? Are you, wait, wait, why don't you show the screen now, huh? I can't. Why don't you, you, you show the screen now? Sure. I'm just hey. kidding. I'm <laughs> fucking flipping around. Um, it's, it's just not, it's not BBC it's porn this time. It's not, it's not BBC porn. Um, it's neuro, no, it says neuro. British Broadcast Center. Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Channel, that's, that's the British right. Broadcast um, Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, say it again. Neurochemicals. <laughs> uh, so the neurochemical, uh, psilocybin, yeah. psilocybin is very sil- similar to serotonin. Like, why is that? Like, I think that's really interesting. Like, I think that the mushrooms... We're here to evolve with the mushrooms. Like I think we evolved through this stoned ape theory th- with the psilocybin because it, we evolved with, you know, alongside that. That it might be an offshoot. You know what I mean? If we're so similar to mushrooms, it, there could probably there's saying. probably somewhere you can make. You know, we're not scientists, but maybe you can make an argument that serotonin came from psilocybin, like that. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's neurochemical that's what DNA I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The fact that we evolved that with works. this. That's exactly what I'm saying. So that, I'm saying it's interesting that we evolved if this stone ape theory is true, which I'm, I'm inclined to believe it is because of the, what I'll say here in a second. But like we evolved with the psilocybin. So our brains were evolved to, uh, you know, accept that neurochemical in our brain. Mm. And then our brains produced a similar neurochemical on its own through the evolution that is similar to that, but not so the, the same. So it's a similar exactly. purpose. Exactly. Mm. So that's, I think that's how our brains, you know, evolved the use Maybe of we, serotonin. Wait, but, but, but other animals have serotonin or they only have dopamine? See, I don't know. Maybe mm. I'm wrong. See, this is, this, is where the, this is where the holes in my argument happen. If, that's yeah. a good question. I don't if other know. animals don't have serotonin, if, if serotonin... They do, actually. Just, yeah, no, serotonin my, is not only mice, unique to, to yeah, humans, Yeah, mice right? have... Yeah, no, I but mice have dopamine. I know that, but I don't remember if they have serotonin. They probably do. I don't know. Who the... F- dude? They probably do. I didn't study biology like... A, we're just giving you information on... on actually, you know what? Here's food. another... Let's go down this little rabbit hole. Okay. Serotonin is a neurochemical. Psilocybin is a... Is a is it, is it neurochemical? Yeah. I was going to say mushrooms are like brains. 
But I guess that's not really. There's a loose connection there. Like, if, yeah, sure, it's a neurochemical, it's a neurochemical. But not, but not all brain. mushrooms. Not all mushrooms have psilocybin in it. So. Mm, only okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I guess that does make psilocybin mushrooms particularly special, and the fact yeah. that I, and, the, and the fact that they're so common is crazy to me. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're the most. They common can proliferate mushroom. anywhere. They're the most common. I don't know if they're the most common mushroom, but they can grow anywhere. Like you, all you need is shit. You just need to have shit in a, a in a any kind of shit. Uh, or, just shit in general. Or shit, shit produced from animals that eat grass or shit produced yeah, from animals. Yeah, probably. That... I don't know. Again, it's just cow shit, elk shit, things that probably things that graze, things that graze. Yeah. Okay, grazing so, animals. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, probably things that eat that eat grass. Mm. Uh, grass fed shit. So you need grass, grass fed you need shit. Gra- you need like organic shit. <laughs> no GMO shit. No GMO. <laughs> <laughs> to get that fresh. But yeah, so what Mushy they say with patty. this. <laughs> into the into the nether world. <laughs> uh, so what they say mm-hmm. with uh, in yeah? Why why is this compelling? Tell me why it's compelling. It's because in the span. Let me see what this thing is. Right here. Uh, in the span of two million years, which is a, a short time in the, in the in terms of evolution. Yeah, it's about the, the distance between my my the, nutsack and my gooch. The, That's how small. <laughs> the size of the human brain tripled. It tripled in size over the course of two million years, which is, which is a significant amount within that amount of time. And they think that's they think they think that the psilocybin mushroom has something to do with that. Mm. So I, and that's what I'm saying. Like in that two million evolved, years seems like a long, long time. Yeah, but it, in the course of evolution overall, it, it's 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 a short time. Basically, it's like that ain't nothing. It's a it's a blip in time. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, so some of the Actually, things. Actually, okay, cool. Some of the some of the basic things that, that psilocybin can can give you are increased sense of empathy, increased sense of oneness, uh, increased sense of like just beyond like loss of self, like like. What psilocybin does, what actually what most psychedelics do, is it shuts down your sense of self. It's specifically called something here. Like ego death kind of thing? Yeah, it's an ego death. It's like it, it, it removes your sense of self completely, which is most what most psychedelics do. I'll, we'll get to it probably then. That makes sense why something would would evolve like so the, if, if you're going to awaken a little bit. But like let's go back, let's go back to that, that two million year gap. Okay. Are there? There's nothing else that they say that could have been. It could have been. Like, I don't know. Are, are there any other theories that you that Maybe. came up or probably? But but they're saying like th- this theory is probable because of that accelerated growth. Like it, it happened within the same time period. Like like the. And like, how did they know the mushrooms were involved that long ago? You know what I'm saying? Because they they can they they've they found fossil fossils with mushrooms in them that date back to that that period of time. Like, like their stomachs had mo- mushrooms. No, underground the mushrooms just existed. They 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 saw that the mushrooms existed. Oh okay. It seems like a very loose connection. I'm sure they probably. It's, probably I'm sure they, they. It's like a. There's legit. probably more. In, there's probably more in depth. Yeah, here. I'm sure the guy isn't just saying it like some yeah. shitty explanation about it. It right. just seems loose. Oh yeah. Because we don't know. Yeah. yeah. We don't. We're not a scientist. We we yeah. Go ask Paul Stamets. He'll he'll tell you. He, he, there's there's um, a, a Joe Rogan episode. Did you watch that one? Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the uh, sources here. That's one of the sources that I used. Mm-hmm. I used both episodes with. Does with, he do a good has, job of? He has two. He has two, Oh, he does. I highly recommend you watch the, did, the, did the, the, the first episode. There's, there's a Netflix documentary that came out this year. Yeah, that's I use Fantastic Fungi. I use Change Your Mind. How to Change Your Mind. How to Change Your Mind. That's and it. then I also use the two uh, Paul Stamets episodes on Joe Rogan. And then a couple other sites uh, for references here, uh, but he goes over all this stuff. I would highly recommend you go watch the JRE, the first uh, the first uh, episode with Paul Stamets. You second, type, one, second one's not so good. Second, no, I mean the, the first one. The second one, he basically just reiterates a lot of the things that he said in the first one, and then he goes over a couple of other things that are kind of interesting. Uh, he goes more in depth on like. Uh, Is that where he talked about the, the subway system? He talks about the subway system in the first one, which we'll go over right here. Actually, I'll just talk about it right now. <laughs> One of the cool things that they did with, with with mushrooms is scientists in Japan made a map of the city of Tokyo, and they they put nodes in diff, They put nodes on all the major cities within uh, in the area. So they put the, the 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 main node on Tokyo, and they put the other nodes within the major cities the, around. The node Tokyo. is like what the mushrooms going to feed off of. Yeah, it's so, like the food. Yeah, me, I'll explain that right now. So what they did is they they put oats on each one of these nodes. They put the the main oats the the one that they're that they that the fungus starts on on Tokyo so the fungus starts on Tokyo on this map and then it searches for food ar- across the map which are the other nodes which are the other cities they put oats on all the other cities 
Do they make map. grooves to make it easier? No. If you, if you follow, if you follow no, no, this. No, 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 no. Oh no! It's just it, they just put a note map. They just put they just put oats on them. Oh, it's put, literally just like a sheet and has dots all oats. over it. Yeah. That's oh, it. there's no lines. No, just dots. there's no guide. Oh, okay. There's nothing. Yeah. It's the, the, wow. the, okay. the fungus is, is doing it on its own. And, over, and, and, and to start, the fungus just like expanded over, like it just explored until it found all the oats. And then after it, it found all the oats, within two days, it realigned and realigned everything in the most efficient way possible. Crazy. And man. it created a map that that was more efficient than the modern, than, than at the time, the, the subway system of the that city of Tokyo. And yeah. they redesigned the subway system to follow that ma- the map that, that was made by the... The fungus. Mushroom-made subway system. Yeah. That's fucking great. Yeah. He, d- he goes over that in the, that Joe Rogan episode. Uh, really Dude, cool. Mushrooms? Mushrooms. Is that? They fungus. are genetic it's material. Not, it's fungus. It's they're, fungus. They're alien. This alien semen just shot out into the universe. <laughs> yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Hey, this, they're, they're this is our genius sperm. They're everywhere. <laughs> Dude, like, in, infected mushroom is right. It's, like, that, that, I think that whole... It's, it's just code. Things. It's like program. Dude, cities of the fucking future. Yeah. Man. How does it go? Run, 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 run to the cities of the future. Take what we can and bring it back home. So take me down to the cities of the future. Everybody's happy and I feel at home. That's so good, dude. Oh, infected mushroom. That's it's coming back. It's fucking dude. amazing. Shit. It's very grungy. It's so so infected mushroom is like psychedelic train. It was like after heavy. we got into uh, uh, Daft Punk. Yeah, Daft yeah. Punk. We're like da- we were heavy into Daft Punk, and then, and then uh, probably Thomas. It's Josh. Or jo- oh, Josh showed us infected mushrooms. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, that, it's, uh, we were like, Josh showed us all that. We were like, like what? Josh showed us that. Fuck is yeah. this? <laughs> you, 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 you. It was like so. Like it was like this is the shit you listen to when you're like crawling through the sewers. He's like, ah. <laughs> that's I got that green. Oh that's my that fucking. That's that fucking bass face music, dude. I went. Yeah. I went to fucking. What was that one with Mike? The uh, fucking Okeechobee Music Festival. They had these fucking like. Like Nightcrawler, like 3 a.m., just fucking in the middle of the forest, just like heavy, side trance, like bass face. Oh my god. That is, just, just, that's like, that's all, some demonic just shit. That, just that shit all fucking night. And I was like, what the fuck? This is fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> this music is fucking head. Like, it's just, it's. There is something the connected. It's connected it's, to something it's, pretty. It's a primal disgusting fucking. Disgusting primal. Like, yeah, like it's, it's like, 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 like oh, it's fucking. <laughs> oh, I just feel like. I just want to fucking do this and just ah, and make faces and just fucking ah. <laughs> it's like embodies it's that emotion. Exactly. Is it, was it, exactly. Was it become rage, like a rageful? fucking? No, no. It's just because it's like, it's like oh, it's fucking fucking animal. It's just fucking prime. Ah, yeah, just like exactly. Like gotta roll it. Yeah, it's just I'm the part of the fucking earth. The fucking I'm I am man. It's like I'm a fucking Gro- something grotesque yeah. and like completely. Like, Super powerful, like yeah. Primal, it's just like, like you're an animal. Like it's just, it's, that's it. It's just yeah. like brutal. Yeah, feeling it's brutal. Just yeah, it's just good. It's just it taps into that, which is why I love that music. There's the music can tap into all oh different my kinds God, of shit, yeah. all different emotions and shit. That's I love what, it. Yeah, that, and that, that's why I love uh, anything that's a musical. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, a guilty pleasure, bro. So, and obviously, there's bad musicals, but you put music to Dude, something. Sweeney Todd. Yo, everyone, Sweeney people Todd. like Sweeney Todd. Dude, that's the only, I think that's that's the musical I can, I, can, I actually like. Most musicals, I, it's just like. You like the aesthetic? Do you like the, the actual I music? I like the aesthetic and I like everything about Sweeney Todd. Like, that's the like one the musical, two. that's the one musical where I like everything and it doesn't get you like. like the, it doesn't make the movie, the, not like the. Not, I'm, making, I'm talking about the movie. Like, yeah. in musicals, like, I get it. I like, I like the musical aspect of it, but it makes me kind of, it makes me a bit nauseous. Like, it's like a bit too much. But with Sweeney Todd, I thought it was an interesting and like it added, and like grungy enough. It didn't and take like, it away. Yeah, exactly. It, it, I felt like that was a really cohesive, interesting story, and like I just liked Sweeney. Like that Sweeney mm-hmm. Todd is an interesting musical for me. Like that's I think the, the one musical that I can say like I like this. Uh, you know, as opposed to most other musicals. That is so interesting, dude. I've <laughs> I've heard so many more, like so many more negative reviews of Sweeney Todd. I love Sweeney Todd. There's negative reviews of that. People that's, hate Sweeney what the Todd. Fuck? I, I, th- I think it's people who. Like I think it's an original, like it's uh, it's a play too, or like it's an actual oh, musical. And oh, they like so the music. Fu- yeah, they're, they're, like the book was better. Being, they're being hipsters. They're about, the fucking, they're yeah, hipsters the, the book was that. better. Crap. Like yeah, of course the book is better. Whatever. Like but there's still Johnny Depp, Stanley Muffin, so, bro. Get dude, over it. Get over it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, you can do a lot of things with mushrooms. You can clean oil spills. Uh, Paul Stamets just the, the developed a thing that helps protect the bees from from dying, which are which make up like Save thirty bees. Yeah. 
thirty percent. Yeah, thirty percent of our food, food the supply. The beehives too. Beehives are already kind of like well, brood, no, okay, so brood mother the, be- kinda. the bees, the bees live around mushrooms because the mushrooms provide them with, with protection against these, these, um, these viruses. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Paul Stamets, like, um, he developed or for, somehow he de- he developed a, a, uh, I don't know, I don't know how he developed it. But he, he helped to develop something to help the bees um, fight off a virus that caused them to uh, cr- make deformed wings, cause their wings to, to, to not work. It was like some kind of deformed, like, deformed, thing that was de- deformed wing population. virus. Yeah, deformed, it's like, the, like bee COVID. Yeah, whatever deformed wing virus. Yeah, so he helped fight defo- deformed wing, wing virus with with his culture of uh, with the, with the culture of his mushrooms. So, but so he's but he's not like he's not using mushrooms in the same way that the mushrooms are a part of the trees and the trees are connected to other trees. Like he's, he's probably like developed some kind of antibiotic Specific. thing with the fucking mushrooms and then sprinkled some spray on the bees or some shit or gave them food and they're, he shit. goes over, he goes over in the, in the, in the, in the JRE episode. If you want to dive into, you can even look up, um, you know, a colony collapse disorder, Paul Stamets. And if you look that up, you'll, you'll see if you're interested in, in, in finding out more information about that, he, he develops things with his mushrooms that, he, or he, he cultivates a specific mushroom that, that helps the bees. I don't know exactly how it is, but go research that information if you're interested. Save really the good. bees. Yeah. He also, he, I, he, I, did, I do know, I did research a bit more about this. He used biopesticides. Uh, he used mushrooms as like a biopesticide. So he, what he did is he made cultures of, of a mushroom, and then he found, you know, you know some, some organisms that were growing out of the Petri dish that didn't produce spores. Uh, and then he took those and he, and he cultivated those and he, and, he, and he made cultures of those and then he did that over and over and over. Like just like the breeding. Yeah, until he, until he was able to, to cultivate a specific kind of mushroom that uh, usually uh, termites and other pests don't, don't they usually clean themselves uh, of, the, of the spores so that they don't take the spores back to the colony and infect the colony because if the spores infect the colony, it, it, it kills everything and the, and the colony dies. Mm. So what Paul Stanley says, he, <clears throat> he cultivated the mushrooms from a certain uh, species that didn't create spores so that when, when, they were, when they were presented to the termites, the termites would actually eat the, eat the, eat the mushroom. And bring it back to, and the, bring it back to the colony. Ooh. And then feed it to the queen. And then, but you got infiltrated, and right? Then, and then the, the the mushroom just eats them, it just like kills them from the inside <gasps> out, and just fucking just like eats everything when they're dead, like, and it just kills the entire colony. Dang. So he's using that to to fight termites, That's ants, gnarly. gnats, mosquitoes, and bed bugs, uh, which is really cool. A little fucking alien there for you. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna get into the clinical side of psilocybin here. Psilocybin. This is the insane thing. Like psilocybin can be used to treat. PTSD, end of life depression, alcoholism, drug addiction, anorexia, and OCD. Like it's being used to. But to don't fucking like take that. it, and we don't condone yeah. it, and it's illegal. Yeah. So, it's fucking insane. Go figure. Yeah. Can't believe we have to fucking. Yeah, we have to. Go fucking we have figure. To have that 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 fucking disclaimer. Fuck that. that. You know, you heard the disclaimer. Go try some motherfucking mushrooms, yeah. but don't. So, yeah, um, there are actually other mushrooms that that so microdosing. Is another thing that you can do with these with these mushrooms, which I did for a while. Uh, yeah, and basically what what the way the way I experienced it experienced it is I would take it uh, I would take it for three days and then I would I would stop taking it for two days and I would take three days on two days off three days on two days off, um, and then while I, when I was taking it, it just felt like a good day. Like I didn't have any my mood didn't fluctuate. There was no it just it was just an overall sense of of, of well being. Like, um, I felt like I had, uh, you know, I, I drank three times a day. No, not three times a day, oh. three days. So oh. I took, I took 0.1 gram of a psilocybin mushroom, 0.1 grams of psilocybin, of a, of psilocybin mushroom per day. I would just take it in the morning and then I would just go about my day. And then two days I would not take it. And then three days I would take it. The reason I don't take it for two days is oh, because, days. Okay. is because your, your, the neurons in your brain build up a tolerance for the for the psilocybin and then so after a couple of days you, you're not going to get any effect you're like the maximum effective dose yeah and then you space exactly. it out and I space it out so that the neurons can clean themselves of the psilocybin and then do it again mm. um, but basically it's just like having like a little bit of a like a feeling of like like a little buzz like a little like ooh I feel like a little bit of energy I'm feeling good I'm feeling like 
calm and confident and just it's just it's just a good day like you know some sometimes when you're when you're you know going through your day and then at the end of the day you're just like damn that was a good fucking day i'm glad that was a good that was fucking amazing it's like that it's like whenever you take this it, you don't there's no there's you, there, there's no there, you don't have any sensation of like tripping or visualizations or fractals or any of that shit only in the days that you it's take it or for those three days you feel like that for those three days, yeah. So for the days I take it, for those three days I feel like that. On the other days I just feel regular. It's just back to normal. You take it once, skip two days, and then take it again, skip two days, take it again, skip two no, days. No, I take it three days in a row. Okay, so that's skip what I Skip two days. Oh, okay, that's Take what three days too. in a row. Okay. Skip two, okay. three days on, two days off. Three days on, two days off. Technically, I guess according to, to Paul here, the best is four days on, two days off. So mm. if at any point I decide to microdose it again... That's what I'll do. Um, are there are there websites you can get this kind of stuff at? I don't know. Google it. I have no idea. And not, <laughs> we're not we're not going to tell you here. So. Okay, you can tell me. Yeah, as far as as far as, as far as far as far as we know, uh, there's nowhere you can get these at all. Don't Google it. Yeah, don't. Don't fucking. <laughs> don't Google discreet shipping. <laughs> don't Google none of that shit. I don't fucking know. You figure it out. <laughs> you get the hint. <laughs> Amazon, uh, where you at with this shit, bro? Come uh, on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, and then in addition to Joe that... Joe Biden. <laughs> what you want to tell Joe, Joe Biden right now? <laughs> the fuck is that? From? You never heard that? <laughs> Joe Biden. Bing bong. <laughs> fuck, fuck your, your life. life. Yeah, that's a, what you want to say to Joe Biden right now? <laughs> uh, internet uh, is great. Internet's fucking weird. There's a lot of weird things on the internet. Yeah, it's, like, um, it's a miracle device, dude. It is a miracle device, I'll give you that. It is a miracle device. I think it's like too powerful for us. Probably, probably. Um, all right. So these are all the things that, that psilocybin can do. And now we're gonna get into legal mushrooms that are edible gourmet mushrooms that have a plethora of effects that, that mm. are beneficial to you. We use the big words. Yeah. Uh, plethora. Plethora. Lion's mane. Lion's mane is probably the. The biggest, the the, the best, de la creme. the best mushroom that it, I'll stand alone. As far as I can tell from all the research of all the other mushrooms that are, in, that are important here, lion's mane does it the most shit. So not lion's, portobello. Lion's, lion's mane has neurogenetic effects like psilocybin. So it has neurogenetic effects and it's fucking legal. Go eat some goddamn lion's mane. <laughs> Go buy that shit. Isn't that, shit that, isn't that the one that looks like a brain? That's the, it. Looks like a like a like a. I don't I can't even explain it. So it looks Coral. like a, like 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 white clear dreads like hanging down like it's just like oh my God, it just what? it looks it looks like a jelly like a giant jellyfish it's uh, really it's really cool um damn but yeah it 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 helps immune support it has anti cancer properties okay it has neurogenetic effects um it uh you know the anti cancer and the immune support are great but the neurogenetic effects help with um, treatments of dementia, so like Al- Alzheimer's, things like that. Um, it has nervous system support, and it relieves some symptoms of depression and anxiety. So this is, if you don't want to microdose psilocybin, just take supplements of lion's mane, and you'll get all these benefits here. I got an ad for this thing um, on Instagram called, uh, I think it's called Mushroom Gummies. Mushroom it's gummies? So, yeah, something like that. But it's like oh, yeah? vitamins, but it's all mushrooms. If Paul Stamets sells these, if, you, if you're interested. If you go to fungi.com, like fun guy? No, no, like oh. the actual word fun guy. He, uh, fungi, or F-U-N-G-I. Okay, I uh, he's like, dot no, com. Okay. He's, he's actually selling these supplements, and I would recommend going there and, and, and supporting him there. And he probably doesn't sell psilocybin in there. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he's very uh, adamant about not doing that. Oh. Yeah. Um, Mr. Stamets, what the fuck? It's illegal. <laughs> what are you going to do? He, 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 he worked with the fucking government on several uh, okay. bio-shield shit. Like he goes over that like it, it, he's done some insane shit, some really cool shit, with uh, with mushrooms. Bio shield. Bio shield like for like, the bees. No, for for like national security, like bio shield. What the fuck? Just fucking. What? Go watch like that wait, 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 like making superhumans or like making like a chamber that is in- no for illnesses, bro. Like, for, like oh, God you said damn. for you said did you say military? Bio government? shield. Like, I don't know. Why I thought military. government, not military. Government, government bio shield. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like. <laughs> 
A fucking druid is going <laughs> like drinking a giant wall. It's we're gonna, gonna nuke us. Put the bio shield up. <laughs> like that's what it sounds like, bro. You just kept saying bio shield. <laughs> That's what it's like, so, like, like some Hulk That's shit. what it was called. I didn't fucking pick the name. And He's going to die. Inject him with the bio <laughs> shield. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're growing like mushrooms. Mushroom spikes on his fucking forearms. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> there are other mushrooms that give you benefits like reishi and chaga. These mushrooms give you immune support and anti-cancer properties. So just like the lion's mane, they, if you want to get additional benefits for your immune system and additional benefits for any kind of anti-cancer properties. Take that. In addition to this, one thing that helped heal Paul Stamets' mom of cancer was the turkey tail mushroom, which she took in conjunction with tr- cancer treatments. So mm. the turkey tail mushroom helps aid in the effectiveness of cancer treatments. Of already yeah, existing cancer treatments. Mm. So it, it helps with that. Hoof mushroom is the mushroom I was talking about where they they hold the embers in the Hoof. mushroom. It can it's, it, it can become, oh, okay. you can make it, you can make it into fabric. You can make clothes out of it. You can make flint. You can make the the fuse to 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 for rifles and shit out of it. That's it's what like they hemp. use. Yeah, that's what the Europeans use to to invent the rifle. They use these this this mushroom oh. felt because oh. the because uh, I forget if it was to light chi- it? the Chinese invented the gun invented gunpowder. Right. Oh, okay. They used this before gunpowder. Yeah, like the precursor then, to gunpowder. Yeah, and then they used this mushroom or this this kind of flammable, like mushroom felt, uh, as the fuse to ignite the gunpowder and and, and make a gun. Um, yeah, three minutes to shoot one bullet. God bless. <laughs> Probably took longer than I did. Right there. That's probably Way that was, that was generous. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would no Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> and it's like yeah, it fucking so we'll, go where you want it to go. God um, bless. Yeah, I'll just go into a brief history of, of how psilocybin mushrooms got got so big. Basically this guy called named uh, R. Gordon Wasson went to Mexico and did like a Arduin. R R the letter R. Okay, yeah, let's enunciate because it, right? it sounded like you the, said Aldwin Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, what is it? Sound like fucking, uh... Had it again! Sound like the fucking oh. Thornberrys. Ni- oh. Nigel, Nigel Thornberry. Nigel <laughs> Thornberry. Um, but no, R, the letter R, as in Romeo, Gordon Wasson was th- was this... I don't know if he's a mic... He was, he was, he was an amateur mycologist uh, who went to uh, Mexico and did a mushroom... Ceremony with Maria Sabina, which who's a curandera, which is a healer, in, in Spanish is a, is a healer. It's like the um, witch doctor. Yeah, um, but she, yeah, she's just like a medicine, a medicine woman. She's a medicine oh, woman, okay. uh, and he, he did this. He, he he did the mushroom ceremony, and he documented his findings, and they published it in Life magazine. So like, they just they just put it in the most popular magazine in the U.S. And As if everyone, it was real research, or he no, was it was. A, it was. He was actually. These are just his findings. Like they, it was. He didn't. He say had. He was. They, they had just pictures of like all of the mushrooms he was studying, and then he also went into the experiences that he had on the during the the medicine the, the, the medicine ceremony. Was, was in, this in, in about the seventies? When was this? This is in the fifties. In the fifties. Wow, well, zero dates in the notes. Fucking useless, bro. It's fit in the fifties. Yeah, he's in the fifties. You remember that? It's right here. Fifties and sixties, bro. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So that, see, that part wasn't 50s. highlighted. I didn't. I couldn't see it. It's highlighted right there. It, it is right there. It's fucking highlighted. You're blind. No, it says nineteen seventy, bro. No, this says fifties and sixties. I know. These are my notes. Of course, you don't know where it <laughs> is. Anyways, um, was it fucking crazy, the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yeah. I that that was the does. best fucking show. Yeah. Curse Cowboy Dog. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that shit was creepy and it was good. Amazing. It was good. Not as good as Samurai Jack because Samurai Jack. Yeah. Listen, Samurai Jack is better. Yeah. yeah. Samurai Jack is better. It's just cinematically the best cartoon that is uh, like I'm sure they've. They, they, there's better ones now, but Samurai Jack. It's what is Gendy Tartakovsky? Tartakovsky. I don't know. That guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> that guy. Whatever. Well, I've already said this before. He's yeah. a genius. Yeah. Another genius. Uh, a lot of people, like, um, 
No, there's other people I'm really genius. Well, Albert Hoffman is probably their the musical most, genius. He's the most. He's the most famous guy. Yeah, the musical. We'll, we'll name we'll name the ones here. But the the guy who who synthesized LSD also went to went to, to Mexico after this was published in Life Magazine. A bunch of people went to Mexico to, oh, to, to do this, this shit. But right? so the the thing in Time Magazine was specifically. Psilocybin is much is a bunch, bunch of mushrooms, mushrooms, but people are like, I want to trip on yeah. fucking mushrooms. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then, he, and, then he, and then a part of that part of that article was that's the ceremony that he took and the psychedelic experience that he had. Like, mm. it's like this mushroom opens your opens your consciousness, it expands your consciousness, and then people are like, whoa, I want to expand my consciousness. I want my consciousness to be over out here. You know, <laughs> I want my consciousness to be. I don't want my consciousness to be in my brain. I want it to be like I here. Zoom out, I want my bro. consciousness to be like this big. <laughs> 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 but yeah and, and people also it's some of the, some of the people that, that went Mick Jagger uh, George Harrison Bob Dylan Timothy Leary Timothy Leary is one of the one of the you know psychonauts that that wrote a bunch of books uh, about psilocybin and all that stuff so this led to a widespread knowledge of psilocybin mushrooms in America in the Americas like, in the hey, US hey magic mushrooms man you wanna trade and these they magic started mushrooms? to yeah, and they started to do uh, clinical trials with psilocybin mushrooms in the 50s and 60s, and it had really good results, really, really good results with for, for alcoholism and mental disorders where, you know, people would maintain their sobriety and then they wouldn't have any relapses or anything like that for, for extended periods of time. And these results were, were, were great, but in addition to all of these amazing clinical things happening, a bunch of people just started abusing the drug and just taking it recreationally. Like, and no one went to even, work anymore. And, and, no, they just started an anti-war, anti-government movement, oh, like the hippie movement. Oh god! Right? And they're like, the oh, no, we got to shut this shit down. Exactly. <laughs> but Nixon no. was like, Nixon was like, I ain't having none of that shit. This I is, want war. Yeah. This is this is yeah. <laughs> yeah like money. <laughs> yeah. And this, he basically started the, dr- the the war on drugs. Fuck him, dude. Yeah, and and he stopped research on psilocybin altogether. He made psilocybin a a category one drug, which means it has no medicinal value, and you cannot bullshit. Uh, outside Fuck the pharmaceutical industry. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? And this was in the nineteen seventies. The government. This is this is the nineteen seventies. Fuck the government. So he stopped. He started the war on drugs on on nineteen ninety seven. Fuck the government. Yeah, I agree with you. Fuck the Fuck government. The government. There's a lot of weird shit happening in the government. Dude, I, I talked to us, I talked to a couple of people at the... Yeah, at but what about the roads, man? Who's going to pave the fucking roads? <laughs> who's hey, who's going to, like, protect us, man? <laughs> Fuck the government. Bro. We'll get into that in some other episode. Believe me, there's a bunch Fuck of... Fuck the federal government. Okay. I, I, think, I, think, I, think states, I think states work. <laughs> Let me not get political. Yeah. We, we, might, we might go into that on Hey, no one's allowed to eat these fucking mushrooms, man. Dude. You're going to fucking jail, man. Dude. The fuck... Dude, I, 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 I don't care if it cured your wife's cancer. Fuck that. Yes, don't, yes, I, I'm trying to have war, man. Don't be fucking... <laughs> eat mushrooms. Eat mushrooms and fucking protesting. I almost said prostituting. Don't be protesting with your Maybe. dick out and prostituting. Eat mushrooms like a fucking yeah. heathen. Uh, I heard that Joe Morgan was explaining like how, how ridiculous it is to fucking... How, how it ridiculous is to make something that's natural illegal like yeah like it's growing out of the ground but the police are watching they're like don't touch it don't pick it up you look at that fucking mushroom man yeah, don't pick it don't pick ah, don't pick it up I'll, don't touch it I'll fucking arrest you like, <laughs> like what are you gonna do it's just growing out of the ground like, what are you gonna do yeah, I'm gonna eat that what are you gonna yeah. do <laughs> you're gonna make it throw it so up so fucking ridiculous dude um, there's a way to get a hold of it but yeah long story short Fucking ridiculous. Because uh, because a bunch of people m- made like this this uh, this gathering of like uh, of uh, of uh, creative minds to I don't know exactly what it, I forgot what it's called but they they came together to 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 write like a petition or some kind of um, document to submit to the FDA to prove that psilocybin have has medicinal value and then the FDA overturned or like. Rolled back the 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 jurisdiction that stopped the the um, the medicinal research for psilocybin. And they so they resumed it. They oh, resumed it in cool. two thousand. So they resumed it in two thousand, and they started doing uh, clinical trials at Johns Hopkins. In comes Paul which Stamets, is, which is our which are the with all this mess. huh? Then Paul Stamets comes in with, with that researcher. Is that not him? Um, I forget who it is. It might be. I'm sure he probably did some. I don't remember exactly. Who it, is, but it was it was a, it was a, it was it was a well known, well established. Uh, Mycologist. No, no. Uh, what was it? What is it? 
psycho, like a behavioral psychologist or something like that, or something. I forget. I forget his name. He's also in the Change Your Mind. It's in the Change Your mm. Mind. How to Change Your Mind documentary. Check that out. Um, he's the older guy with uh, with the glasses. Um, you'll see. You'll know. You'll know who, who he is when when you watch the the the, the episode. Um, but he's the one that, that started these trials and um, they started again in 2000. So long story short, everything goes back to the way it, the, the way it should be. It's like Where they're actually doing research. Research it's, for it medicinal is, use. But, yeah. And it, and it has medicinal. been helping cancer patients with their fear of death. So at like, you know. At least you're not fucking yeah, panicking and suffering when you're dying. Yeah. Ease, of, ease to, you yeah. know, end of life. Exactly. End of life depression cured that. Like fear, like it's like. It helps with the, with the fear response and creates more courage and things, things like that. Um, uh, and it also has a high cure rate for depression. So twenty nine percent of the people who take a macro dose, which is a, you know, a, rather large amount. A, a, yeah, a a lot a lot of the cells have enough to have a, a mystical experience. So like five grams. So people who take enough the, to see ponies and universe. Yeah. I, I, maybe, Actually, it's I never, not, maybe, I it's not, maybe it's not five five grams, but like five grams is technically the her, her, like the heroic dose. I've like, never done mushrooms, but if I ever had, I don't remember seeing anything. I mean, I it's have. Very I mean, we can say we we can say we've done mushrooms. We can say we've done mushrooms. I've done mushrooms. I've eaten. You go to grams. jail, bro. I'm we, not we, fucking we can't, going to we jail. Can't, we can't just tell people to do mushrooms. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, we can't condone. I didn't do We can't none tell you how to get it. We can't do anything like fucking government. But we, I've done it. And I haven't done, you know, five grams. I've done one or two grams at most. And you were screaming pork and cheese at the top of your goddamn I was, voice. wasn't I? <laughs> oh, shit, that's right. That was that, dude. <laughs> Pour water on Pour me. Pour water on me, dude. Pork and cheese. Yeah, I didn't actually. That was, I fucking make, I didn't make that face. He's very nervous. I mean, I, I had to hear the second hand. I remember hearing you screaming yeah, about something. So you weren't even there. You even I know. I remember you rolling on the ground the and screaming, thing. but the, I was just like, "Man, I, wasn't I can't wrong. handle this right now, man. I'm gonna lay in this bed, man." I don't think I was. I don't think I was screaming. You were. I don't think I was loud. Screaming. You were loud. I don't think I was screaming. I think. I think. You're, I think you're saying that because of the experience. You were, I, no, it's no, because no, of what no, I told no. you on the seventh episode. Okay. No, no, you weren't. No, no, you. You were. I was. You not, were loud. I remember. I remember. I this. mean, I could. I could be loud. I'm, I'm not like. You, I don't think, the way I don't you said it is like. I don't think you were still like me. Like, ah! <laughs> like, like, I wasn't. No, doing it was that. more like it was more I wasn't like doing uh, that shit, dude. It was more like you know, you get, like you drank a gallon of coffee and ten shots of whiskey. That couldn't like, have been it. Woo! That, that 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 clearly, I I can tell you that that wasn't my experience because what I remember from that experience is me not being able to move at all because I was in like some kind of state of sleep paralysis. Oh, where, I remember. Or I couldn't I couldn't fucking I was just like I was able to like see people walking around and I was like somebody fucking wake me up <laughs> somebody help me <laughs> give me all, give why me are they stepping over me I, I was fucking like, help yeah, me. I was like fucking Josh fuck Come on, man! Just fucking wake me up, dude. God help me! Like, <laughs> it was fucking like traumatizing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, let's see. Let's get back into the that mushroom. That shit was funny. Um. Yeah. So twenty nine twenty nine percent cure rate for for depression. Uh, so large and sustained decreases in anxiety and depression, and it happens very quickly with one macro dose, with one crazy trip, with one, mm. you know, one thing. And, you know, let's get into this fucking, like, uh, what is it? Schedule one and schedule two drugs. I'm going to just give you a list of the schedule one drugs, which are the most baddest, worst the drugs. The bad, baddie, bad guys. Yeah. According to the government, these are the fucking terrible, worst federal drugs that the, 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 what, the, what the federal government considers the worst drugs. Okay? Let's go here. Heroin. Okay. I can kind of get that. Heroin kind of is, is really shitty. Okay? It's Heroin, addictive as fuck. Quaaludes. And then now we get into, in, including on the same list as heroin and quaaludes, is, we is, have... Is this in, in order of no, most severe? No, these are just all on the same level. Oh, okay, They're okay, just okay. all the, equally as all, bad, according all to the, the government. the fucking thing. On the same list as heroin and quaaludes, which are just... Quaaludes are just... Highly addictive pills. Yeah. It, like muscle relaxers or something. Exactly. Like it's a complete sedative, just like fucking just knock you out. Very dangerous drugs. Like Xanis or something. Yeah. Psilocybin's on that, on that list. Peyote, which is a which is a plant medicine, like an like an indigenous a Native American plant medicine, kind of like a, MDMA, 
which is actually which which is used in in in, in PTSD, PTSD. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then LSD is on there, and fucking marijuana is on the list. Schedule one as a schedule one drug. As like these Everybody are the knows. worst drugs. Everybody these are the knows worst drugs. Marijuana will ruin. Let you. me tell you what's on the schedule two drugs, which are the drugs that are being used for for clinical use and used in medicines to 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 in, in treatments. These are drugs that they consider not so bad, not as bad as the schedule what schedule one drugs. Not as bad. Let me tell you what what drugs they 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 think that are not as bad. <laughs> PCP, number one. They think it's not as bad as those schedule one drugs. Fucking meth. They think that meth, they're using meth to treat people with ADHD. They're giving meth to people to treat ADHD. (laughs) And cocaine. Like, what the fuck? How are these fucking less dangerous than fucking marijuana, LSD, and fucking MDMA and psilocybin? Like, because it's dangerous to Dude. think, you idiot. Holy Stop shit. Stop thinking I, right. so much. Exactly. This is dangerous. It's fucking insane. Stay in your lane. It's fucking insane. Drink your alcohol, do your PCP, your meth, your coke. Yeah. Blast your brain, put holes in it, make it Swiss cheese. But don't be yeah. doing no thinking drugs. Yeah. You start thinking expand, too much. Don't expand your consciousness because we want that shit to be fucking small. It's fucking just a disbury. Yeah, then you might realize that you don't need us yeah. to control you. If you think too much, then we become obsolete. Then you realize, oh, there's like fucking billions of you and then like a couple million of us. That's true. That's true. But yeah, that's all I had. Uh, hopefully you got something out of that. I don't know how much of that actually made sense. Hopefully it made some kind of like logical, chronological or like informational sense of how I display the information. But that's just me just like going through the internet, just fucking gathering all the information, just, just soaking up information from all the, all, like I think I had like four different, four, five, six sources and I was just, just absorbing all that shit and I'm just regurgitating it here uh, for the sake of your, for your convenience. I'm just giving you the information, all the cool bits and pieces that I thought mm. were interesting. Mm. So Love that's all I had. That's it for episode, what, nine? Number nine. Number nine. That's it. This is the mushroom episode. Uh, the main, the main, uh, the main source of the, the information, of course, is Paul Stamets. Go check out his shit. Uh, he's really cool. Um, really interesting guy. Check out the JRE episodes with him. Uh, check out the, uh, fantastic phone guy. And then how to change your mind episode two. Uh, which are on psilocybin and uh, Fantastic Fun Guys about fun guy in general. But how do you change your mind had other episodes that weren't? It's a series, so it's got mm. it, it goes over different drugs, and then episode two is psilocybin. So mm, check out cool. episode two of How to Change Your Mind, Fantastic Fun Guy, the two JRE episodes, Joe Rogan uh, Experience podcast episodes with uh, Paul Stamets. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. Tell us what you want to hear. Yeah, please. If you want to send us anything, mysticmayomessage at gmail.com. But I say that I say like, like the video, subscribe, yeah. and leave a comment. Oh, All and these. and, and um, we are now we should now probably a couple weeks before this comes out be available on all the other podcasting whatever. So okay, hell yeah. Like iTunes, yeah, yeah. Spotify, yep. whatever. Wherever you can, wherever shit, you find, Stitcher, yeah, wherever you find your podcast, we'll be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we will see you on the other side of the portal. See you then. Big black cock porn, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. <laughs> you had to. You, you had to prove oh, no. that. <laughs> oh, no. Is that our voices? Uh, yeah, but uh, I didn't use the other one. The other track. Oh, my mm-hmm. fucking Christ, dude. Redo. Fucking. What? Redo what? Just fucking. Is what, we're, not, we're not rolling yet. We're just B roll. Okay. Is it still going? Oh, it's recording over? No! God damn it. Okay. Jesus, bro. Bro, what are we writing a college paper? God damn. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> Go you, why you, why yeah. do you have a highlight function if you highlight everything? <laughs> I wrote a bunch of shit down, then I highlighted the main points and, and you forgot else. you forgot to unhighlight. No, I didn't forget to unhighlight. I just you deleted just like the reading things in the yellow background. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, but to me, that's an annoying way to read it. Like, Whatever, not, dude. It's, they're my notes. They're, 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 they're for you. They're for you. Yeah, they're for you. Notes. 
Bob on there for you. <laughs>